what I have here in my hand is a club. That looks hideous. It may sound even worse than it looks, but does it perform? I'm the only way to find out. Let's find out now on JP Goff. What is up YouTube? Welcome to the channel. Thank you guys for taking a look at this video. So if you're like me, I get tons of emails about clubs that supposedly help my handicappers struggle with drivers. So what I've got here is the Monza driver. They call it a driver. It's more like a three wood, it's 14 and a half degrees. This thing looks horrendous. I've hit it a couple of times. It looks like a frying pan. It sounds like it hit a frying pan. The point of it is supposed to help people who struggle to hit the ball in the air. Um, it's a very shallow face and you're supposed to be able to tee it down and hit it more like an iron. So does it perform? Let's give it a shot. Let's find out. All right, so as you guys can see, I this ball teed all the way down like you hit an iron shot. I'm tee. See how it happens. I'm hoping you guys can hear on camera just how bad that thing sounds. You're against some looks if you take this thing to range. Um, it sounds like how Ping got his name, the old original Ping putter. So when you hit the thing, it's ping. It literally sounds like you're hitting a frying pan. But I gotta say, that was a dead straight perfect shot. Impressed? Let's get up here and see what we get. All right, guys, this is actually quite impressive. Let's see if we can get out here. There's the ball. Let me show you where it's at. It is in the middle of the fairway. Bunker to the right. Bunker to the left. I have split them. Again, it's ugly and it sounds horrendous, but that is a really good shot. All right, first tee shot with the Monza. Pretty impressive. Let's see how it performs here. Second shot. I hit that shot a little bit left, but I'm in the fairway, staring at the flag with pretty decent distance. All right, two shots with the Monza. Press the performance. Let's take a look at it and see just how hideous is this club. All right, guys, so hopefully you can see this thing. Look at that. It literally looks like a spaceship or a frying pan or something on the end of a shaft. Face is very shallow though. So you can see why you're able to tee it low with all those deep face. Let's just compare the length here to my driving iron. Again, it's 14 and a half. You see two inches longer, so probably more of a of a three-wood loft on more of a five-wood shaft. So you see how ugly it is. Hopefully you can hear how bad it sounds. But you've seen through two shots, performed really well. So sit it here. Then let's hit the driving iron, compare it for uh, distance wise again. I'm, I may come back and compare it to my driver. I don't have my driver with me again. Loft wise, it's not, it should not get as much distance as my driver, but that ability to hit uh, hit down on it, how it's designed, for someone like me is actually pretty cool. So let's give another shot and compare it to driving iron and see what happens. comparison I actually caught the shot with the Monza a little bit fat um, and then the same with the driving iron uh, didn't really catch it clean either so let's get up here and see where these things ended up and see if there's any difference all right there in the bunker is my ball from the driving iron and up there in the fairway probably 25 yards further is the ball from the Monza that I did not even hit well Three balls of the Monza, guys. Pretty impressive. Here, I'm gonna add in some photos from the website and with an explanation of what exactly this club says it does and who it's designed for. All right, so let's take a look here at the Monza website. Our honor to introduce the Monza, the first ever driver that allows you to leverage your natural downward swing arc to gain immediate distance and consistency. See the pictures again. This thing is hideous looking. And it sounds not very good. But here are the claims. Basically, like I said, you can tee it up close to the ground, 
and you can swing down on it like you do an iron shot. So using that downward trajectory of a swing rather than trying to hit up on it like you do a traditional driver. Again, it is 14 half degrees. It is not the loft of a traditional driver. It is more like a three wood. Um, let's see what else this thing says. Again, it says leverage your seven iron swing to allow flush contact uh, for amateur golfers. So no learning curve. What it says, you'll be hitting it farther than you do right now without swinging harder, without rotating more, without swinging from the inside and without changing the current thing about your swing. Skeptical, great. So as we kind of seen, what it claims to do, it is kind of doing for me. Uh, the cantilever technology. So this is a technology that basically is saying allows you to swing down on it. It has a low center of gravity. Again, the loft is similar to three wood, like I said, uh, but stronger than a hybrid. And let's see here, has a wide rounded sole. Again, doesn't look like a great club. There's that alignment. It's kind of going opposite of what you usually see. So a little bit different there. And then has a high launch shaft to help get the ball in the air. So again, this is more for amateur, higher handicap golfers probably. And just in case you are wondering, here it is, the Mons of 14 half. It is USGA compatible. So if you're someone who wants to play it in a tournament, it is legal to do so. Pretty cool stuff. The Monza. Let's do one more hole. Monza versus the driving iron. And then we'll come back with some final thoughts. All right, guys. So unfortunately, while filming the Monza video, I bone died. Gotta charge it more. So let's go to the chase. Uh, where it died on that par five, I hit the drive really well, hit the tree on the left, and hit my driving iron, hit that perfect, one of the best driving irons I've ever hit. Caused the Monza to hit the tree, didn't go as far, but both were really, really good. Monza was actually still in the fairway, it just again clipped the edge of a tree hanging over the fairway. Um, and then I hit it twice off the deck. Uh, both times it performed okay, it wasn't. It was easier for me to actually hit than my three wood. So let's cut the chase. Number one, these are the funnest clubs to review. I'll leave it to those big name channels to get you every year with your new pings, your new Titleist, your new Calories, your Cobras. You know what? Those are many major manufacturers. You're going to get good clubs. Are some going to perform better for some people? Of course they are. But these clubs that you see on the golf channel, you get emailed if you're like me, and you get these emails about this is going to help fix your 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 driving if you struggle with driver, struggle with three wood. These clubs that you're never going to see on the PGA Tour, the LPGA Tour, the DP World Tour, the Champions Tour, it's never going to happen. I love trying these clubs out, and the cool thing about most of these things is you can try them out. And if you don't like them. Most of them allow you 30, 60, 90 days to return them. Maybe you pay the shipping and send them back. But it's pretty cool and it's pretty fun. So overall, I was really impressed with the Monza. Is it one of the ugliest clubs I've ever seen? Absolutely. Does it maybe sound even worse? If you hit in the middle, it's not as bad. You hit a little bit off center, it sounds like a frying pan. It's horrendous. But that club performed for me today. I did not miss a single fairway. So. I do have another club that is similar in style coming. Can't wait to put those head to head. Have another driver that is specifically supposedly built for higher handicaps and has a more upright uh, lie angle and, and some things. So look forward to those videos. I hope you guys, if you enjoy these kind of videos, get down in the comments below, let me know. If you liked it, like the video, subscribe again. Get down in the comments below. Let me know if you want to see more from the Monza because I'm looking to test out more. And let's be it right now. I actually have an opening in my bag with the bomb techs. And this thing really performs, so you never know. It sounds horrendous, but the way it performed, man, something different. I liked it. So, as always, hope you've enjoyed the video, and keep it locked. Until next time, on JP Goff. <laughs>